Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today I wanted to take a look at how to create an image gallery in, with Spry tooltips. Uh, the first step would be in Photoshop I created uh, three images, actually six. I created, I had the regular image which is 1000 by 650 pixels. Then I had its thumbnail created at 100 by 65 pixels. And then I uh, created this gallery folder, and I also created a uh, file called Gallery Test. Now the first step would be to go ahead and grab your thumbnail, and what you could do is actually drag it into the design view here. I'm going to ignore alternative text for now, and you will see your thumbnail here. Uh, the next step that you would want to do is uh, apply the spry, spry attributes to this. And uh, that is the Spry toolbar is located up top here. You would need to click on that. And then we would go to the very last one, which is called Spry Tooltips. Go ahead and click on it, and you'll see the uh, tooltip content goes here. And uh, the next step is to go to the CSS styles, which is over here are the rules. And I'm going to open this up. And we want to go to the tooltip content. So I want to double click on this. And. Um, you can set up any type of uh, style that you want for it, or, or you know, fonts uh, if you plan to have text below the image. But uh, for this example, I just want to show you how to put the picture in. So I'm going to go to box here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my uh, size in that I created in Photoshop, which was the 1,000 by 650 pixels. And uh, once again, if you uh, have this. Uh, picture here and you want some uh, padding you know, on the large picture that comes up you would have to incorporate everything here but uh, for this example we are not doing that so I'm gonna go ahead and click apply and then OK and uh, you'll see this box that comes up here and I'm gonna go ahead and take out this uh, tooltip content goes here and then I'm gonna actually take the image itself which is here and drag it on it ignore the alternative text for now and you'll see your image here and uh, once the image is in here you can actually click on this uh, blue tooltip here the Spry tooltips click on it once and you'll have the properties come up for it well, it has a couple cool effects with it uh, let me actually let me go ahead and show you what it looks like before the effects um, we're going to go to live view and uh, when you hover over it you'll go ahead and see the large image which is uh, pretty cool now at this point you can actually uh, alter where uh, you can alter some effects and where the actual image appears so I'm gonna get out of live view and once again click on this blue box it says fried tooltips and uh, you'll see the properties come up which is right here uh, you can rename it if you like but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it at fried tooltips one uh, what I want to do actually is click on follow mouse so no matter where you put the uh, your cursor, it'll follow it on the large image. And I think it, uh, I think we should click on hide mouse on my mouse alt once it's out of the uh, actual uh, thumbnail. And I do like the the, the fade selection here. And then uh, let's go ahead and do a uh, live preview of this. And as you click on it, you will see that nice fade. I think it looks better that way and uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click off of live view and the last thing I wanted to discuss was uh, the horizontal offset if you want to uh, push it down or to the right and down you want to have a positive number and if you want to uh, lower it you would uh, keep with the negative numbers so for example um, I should say lower it and keep it to the left negative numbers so um, for example we're going to go ahead and uh, put a positive in we'll put 100 and in the vertical offset I'll have 50 and uh, you would have to go and play with this and actually once you're in there you want to click tab uh, to get out of it so it sets it but uh, if you go to uh, live view again you can click over it, you don't, you'll notice it goes way over to the right now and, and lower. And once again, I clicked on it that 
wherever I click on the actual thumbnail, it'll follow it. So you can see that too. But uh, as far as the properties with this, you would need to fool around a little bit and uh, discover what you like best and where you would like that position on your own. But uh, I can go ahead and show you one more just real quick. Um, so you would take, uh, I have one of New York City, so I'm going to take the one of New York City. Go ahead and drag it in. Ignore alternative text. And then uh, the next step, of course, is to uh, click on Spry Tooltips. And it's going to keep that actual size. It remembered that. And um, remember, once again, if you want to uh, keep that text in fine, you just have to set up your content that it's a larger box. But uh, once again, I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to drag in the actual New York City picture. Hit OK. And then go to Live Preview, and you'll see that come up. And this has no special effects on it like the first one does. So if I hover on the first one, you can see the difference between the two. So then you would have to go into uh, the effects right here in the Sprite Tooltips. Click on this one for New York City and set up exactly uh, what you're looking for with this one because it's right now it's set on no effects and nothing's checked. One thing at the uh, end, of course, you want to save your file. So if you hit Command S or Control S for save, uh, you want to make sure you save these two files. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and you'll see the actual uh, Spry Assets folder, which is right here, with your two files. But uh, that would conclude today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. If not, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe, and uh, thank you again for listening.